Good morning. Usually I like to be very positive in these daily devotions, but I'm going to take a negative stand today. Maybe a bit of a warning, maybe a bit of a, a threat, maybe a bit of a, a wake-up call. Uh, I was listening to a track um, on Spotify called Idumea uh, the other day. It was made famous in the film uh, or oh brother, where art thou? Uh, the comedy Cohen uh, film, and it features a a bunch of Ku Klux Klan men marching in step formation as they sing this song about death and what's going to happen to us after death. And um, I'm going to play two different versions of this track after I share, plus another song as well. Idumea was a neighboring kingdom, and King Herod was an Idumean. He wasn't actually Jewish. He was imposed as a puppet ruler by the Romans to keep the Jews under control. If you remember when the Magi come to find Jesus, um, and Herod realizes he's been hoodwinked and outwitted, he massacres all the boys under the age of two years old. And you'll find this in Matthew chapter 2, verse 16. You'll also find out in Matthew chapter 6, verse 20, that John the Baptist condemns him for having an affair and for marrying his brother's wife as well, Herodias. So he wasn't a good man, and he was imposed on the Jewish people as a sort of a, a puppet ruler, so he represented the political rule of Rome, but also a religious um, compromise uh, and um, really um, was not a good thing. And this song, Idumea, is about judgment. This song is about what happens to us after death, the choice that is before us. But it's not the choice after death, it's the choice which is the product of the many choices that we have made during our life. C.S. Lewis says that, um, in fact, Tom Wright says as well, that our fate, our judgment, is based on our repeated responses to God. God will offer you many chances to respond to him through your life in different ways. And the story of your life is how you respond to those repeated opportunities and invitations. So the verdict on us is what we have chosen. It isn't that God is capricious and just decides to zap us into hell fire. It's consistent with the story of our lives and the choices and decisions that we have made. So I'm going to play two versions of Idumea. Um, one is by the Watersons, who was an, they were an English uh, traditional folk band from the 1970s. It's a bit rough. I like it. And then I'm going to play uh, by a US choir, school choir, it's a lot clearer, cleaner sound. Uh, you can tell more what they're singing. And um, it puts the choice. What's going to happen to us after we die? Where are we going? And then I'm going to play a track by Glenn, Cly Glenn Kaiser, who was part of the Res Band back in the day in the, in the 80s. And it's called The Great White Throne. And again... It's about facing up to the throne of God and the judgment of God. Now, this is something that's not very popular. I think a lot of Christians, including a lot of evangelicals, try to make Christianity as attractive as possible. But there is a judgment. Now, we all know that just fear of judgment is not an adequate reason for giving our life to Christ. There needs to be an attractiveness and a desire to follow Jesus as our saviour. But 
it is an aspect. It is part of coming to Christ, evaluating ourselves. And certainly in my own case, it was part of the deal that I realized that I was a sinner before Almighty God. And in our culture today, really we've lost that sense of sin and of shame. I don't know why. I mean, if you look at the state of the planet and you look at what we've done to it and the failure of COP26 to solve any of the problems, we have ruined the planet that God gave to us. In our personal relationships, we have betrayed each other and lied to each other. And so this, these two versions of the song and then the other song by Glenn Kaiser confront us with the need for a repentance and make us face up to what is our eternal destiny. So I encourage you to listen to the two songs and the third song. I'll just play them on uh, YouTube, on my YouTube channel, and um, use them. Don't give way to fear, because the motivation is to get through the fear to the faith that we we know that we're in a position of doubtfulness before a holy God. And yet he has mercy on us and loves us and accepts us. So I'm going to stop the recording now and I'm going to play these tracks.